ingoni hairs um hey guys welcome to my channel i'm lara the kubedi as you should know but if you don't know and now you know now as you guys can already feel can already tell it's becoming hot it's becoming humid and we need things that will just control a few things so i decided to film this video where i will be sharing my tips on how to fight body odor and i will be showing you most of the products that i have because i have a whole table of products right in front of me and i will be sharing with you my trips and tricks tips and tricks that you can use this is for I feel like it's both for males and females and I will be starting this whole series from today and we will be dealing about self-care man self-care looking after your body very sensitive very in detail in depth uh, tricks and tips as well but for today we're just going to keep it simple I'm just going to briefly explain each of the products what they do for me how they've helped me because I had a history of body odor. I had very smelly feet, very smelly armpits, and I feel like now I'm able to control that and I feel so much more confident because there's nothing worse than being fresh in the morning and three hours later, you just feel like you never took a shower. You feel like taking a shower again. So all of these tips, I hope will help you as much as they helped me because they really did help me. They changed my life my first tip is hair removal you need to get rid of hair removal because think of it like this if you have hair there's always a buildup of bacteria of sweat of heat in those specific areas and you won't always get rid of all the products like the roll-on or the soap or the body lotion when you're bathing in the evening or the next day so removing the hair make sure that you just you get to the skin you get to the pores and you clean out the pores of all the previous products um so that being said that i don't like shaving i would recommend that you stop shaving from today either go for waxing or for hair removal creams i prefer hair removal creams when mm, it's either the money or I don't have the heart, the girl, to go for waxing. And I use this hair removal, beat hair removal cream, silk and frizz technology for sensitive skin. And this is what it looks like. I'm, I hope you guys can see it. It's basically done because it does wonders for me. And it has aloe vera and vitamin E which are good for lightening those areas and making sure that you don't have darkening um, areas in your armpits or in your genital area. Now that you have removed the hair and you feel fresh and clean without the hair, I then go in with the Leonella product after lotion. I don't think they sell this. I just found, I just got it when I was studying waxing at TNC and this was part of our kit. So I use this after um removing the hair i put it underneath the armpits down there so that those parts can just cool down and this works wonders if you don't have you know a way to get this which I mean, makes sense then you can use powder so powder also has the same effect it cools down that area and you don't want to go straight in with roll-on underneath the armpits and just not put anything down there you need to look after those bits so powder does that it refreshes your armpits as well gives you a nice smell and down there as well so that the pores can close without having any aggravated um ingredients that you get from like roll-ons and sprays and all that so i definitely use this if anyone is watching me and they have this then you can use this as well i'm going to talk about the soap people what i use is dove beauty soap and it's just the original one it looks like this it has this blue seal at the end at the bottom 
so i use this for my face and my body it smells good it smells fresh you feel smooth you eat like a baby so this really works and with the soap i like to use body gloves because i feel like not only do they wash but they exfoliate the skin and that's what you need and more emphasis on the armpit area you need to wash 30 seconds on each armpit don't cheat don't cheat or stay with your body odor okay you need to invest time in your armpits and down there or else in everything that i'm showing you will not work so you need to spend at least 30 minutes rubbing that area 30 minutes oh my god 30 seconds under each armpit you circulate and then you go to the other armpit i don't like using soap in my private area so rather refrain from that just use water lukewarm water and then just about three times is more than enough i don't like these feminine soaps i don't um it gets rid of the dead skin so it's definitely a must in your kit and in your routine then i also i also for roll on i use this nivea antiperspirant fresh natural 48 hour this is what it looks like uh, it's it, this one is basically done i need to get more tomorrow and what i like is that it emphasizes it says 48 hour protection in african climate it really works like you might think it doesn't smell strong enough it feels very light but it really works like throughout the whole day i know that i'm well protected if you sweat more than usual which is fine you can take a bag of wipes keep them in your bag and let's say around 12 or 1 or when you feel like you know you're starting to smell something go to the bathroom wipe those armpits and then just reapply the roll-on let it dry up and then you are good to go after using my roll-on i then go in with the nivea double effect antiperspirant 48 hour spray as well what i like about this is that it's quick dry so i use the roll-on first then i go on top with this and i know that honey i'm gonna smell fresh the whole day so be one okay and even for guys you guys can get like the male one i think they have for males as well i'm not sure if they have the fresh natural one as well but you guys can nivea is a very good product when it comes to under armpits and sweat and the body so using these two get a roll on get an antiperspirant dry a quick dry one and you're good to go for the whole day so body lotion i'm using the yardly gorgeous body lotion if i'm not using this one i like to use the woolworths one as well didn't buy the woolworths one but i'll try and link it down below or insert a picture somewhere or in the next frame just to show you guys how it looks it smells so good it sm this one also smells so good i'm not gonna lie i even wanna moisturize my hands smells so good and even if you want to you can put a well this is too big but if it's possible you can get like miniature body lotions and put them in your bag so that if you feel like you feel a bit sticky you can as well use the wipes wipe your body a bit and then just go in with the miniature version of this or if you don't mind taking a big old body lotion like this then it's fine you can also take this can i just say my cousin has hooked me up she not hooked me up i've been using i've been buying and i really love the products that she uses and recommended and one of them is this clicks vitamin e shea butter body cream okay it doesn't have cocoa butter but shea butter smells so good so definitely get this it's unisex men can also use it mummies okay my gentle brothers my gentle brothers you can also use it as well so definitely pick this up it's very good for the body now this part is very bonus it's very extra but i feel like it's very necessary and i use this charlie red revlon spray I use it like once i've already moisturized my body sprayed my armpits and then i just spray on top of the body just like that 
and on top of the hair guys your hair needs to smell good there's nothing worse than smelling good but your hair smells all stuffy of course you have to shampoo and condition and look after your hair but this is just a bonus and then on top of that i like to use this woman's secret perfume i got this perfume from fashini i really love the container look at the lid the lid is so girly and glitzy and it just looks so good with a little bow on it more of an everyday basis i really like this perfume it smells good it lasts the whole day it's just like the more high-end perfumes but at a lower cost and it, it smells just as good just oh. and the hair so i also spray in between the flowers but i really love this perfume it smells good lasts the whole day and just as fermented if i can use that term as the high branded perfume so definitely pick this up they also have the gold one but i prefer this one because it has a very sexy mature smell to it and fresh so i definitely love this one and last but not least i have two more products and what i love and cannot leave the house without i have a miniature version of this is the the Clegg's Hygiene Waterless Sanitizer. I don't depend on this alone to get rid of the germs 100%. I use this, I spray it on. Then I use like a handkerchief that I always have in my bag and I wipe my hands further. And then I put the handkerchief back and I wash it like quite a lot. So definitely use this. It's very good for summer. It's very hot. There are a lot of germs swimming around. This is not part of body odor but it definitely helps for just looking after yourself and your skin and your health as i said before and then the last tip last but not least is the periods y'all this is up for the ladies if there are people that are very sensitive to this just skip to this time so that you guys can heal and whatever even though I feel like we should be at that point where we can talk about this but if you are really sensitive then you can skip but that's how you were born so I don't understand but it's okay I respect that for my ladies if you don't use pads or tampons if you use pads or tampons whichever one you prefer I prefer this Lilith's super I prefer this Lilith's super tampons it comes with a with an applicator because I have long nails I prefer to have one with an applicator so that I don't the whole time you know so my biggest tip is when it comes to tampons at least try and change at least every six to eight hours don't keep it in there longer because it starts to develop a certain odor that you don't like and you don't need in your life and even if you use a tampons if you use pads i feel like you need to change even more frequently about every three hours is perfectly fine because you don't want that build up of you know what i'm saying you need it to be fresh and if it's that time of the month always have like wipes in your bag so that when you are changing the pad you can just wipe in that area let it breathe little fan and then you can put on the new pad and then you are good to go smelling fresh whilst on a period and my biggest okay the bonus tip that i can give you is that after bathing always give yourself at least 30 seconds to 45 seconds just to let your armpits and your genital area to breathe it is i found that that change or that difference made my whole body odor you know when i gave my body time to breathe and actually to get dry because if it's still wet and you put on a body lotion or body cream and you immediately put on your underwear and then get onto the road it's still wet so there wasn't enough time to get dry and then fully absorb all the products that you use so definitely give yourself at least 30 to 45 minutes so that your those areas are dry and they actually absorb the products that you put on and that you don't feel musky and sweaty 
about 30 minutes after you just bath you know so yeah guys it's it's so hot but yeah guys i hope these tips have really helped you encourage you and actually make a difference do comment down below on any other tips that you have that i could also try and could work for me but i feel like without a doubt these products have changed my life i feel fresh throughout the whole day and i feel good i feel good i smell good i take over the world <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video